This is Kidra and Tyree of the Chickpea Christian. In this video, I'm explaining four ways that God works in communicating His Word, His truth to our hearts. If you ever find yourself asking, is God talking to me or what does the voice of God sound like? I'm going to break that down for you right here. Let's get started. Number one, we know that God's word is trustworthy. 2 Timothy 3.16, I'm going to put it down here right below. This scripture is foundational when it comes to the functions of the word of God. And when I use that phrase, the word of God, I am including the Old Testament and New Testament only. The Bible is a closed book. The canonicity of the book, meaning which parts of the Bible came to be, uh, has been established and settled for about 1700 years. Every book of the New Testament was written by either an apostle or someone for whom the apostle had oversight. It's very important that the canonicity of scripture be not a stumbling block for believers. There is no need, no pragmatic for the modern day Christian to need additional sources of inspiration from God. If someone comes to you and says, God told me, run. This is not the way that God works. Especially if they say, God told me to tell you. I'll wait until God tells me. And we'll all be waiting a long time because God just does not move like that. There is this tendency among many evangelical Christians today to read themselves into the narrative of scripture and there's a word for that it's called eisegesis and it involves the use of our own filter our own bias and any other prerogative that puts us on the pages between the texts of other saints of the faith and while it's true we also share in many of the promises that others who lived long ago also experienced that does not mean that when god commanded a troop to go around jericho and march until the walls came down that there is a spiritual equivalent today for that practice we need not look at the times of the past and think that they must be merited in a metaphorical sense to today's timeline that is just not the way god works the only way in which God speaks is through the Word of God, and He does this through the Holy Spirit. Those who wrote the Holy Bible were inspired by God, the Holy Spirit, to pin these truths for all time. It was sufficient then, and it is sufficient now. We need not another revelation from God. The Word is thorough, and to that end, we need not look for signs or wonders for God to confirm his word to us. The impetus is not on him to convince us that we need to bow our will to his. We should be careful to challenge God on the veracity of his word or to presume that he needs to show us additional proof that we need to make a certain decision. Yes, we can learn proper discipleship. We can go to seminary. We can attend and even lead a Bible study class, but we are not to believe that someone else has it on greater authority or has a greater anointing to share God's heart with us. It's very dangerous for someone to always be seeking out a new revelation or a new quote word from God. He already gave us that in his scripture and it's very subjective to look at another flawed human being as a means by which we will take our cues from God. That's blasphemous and it's reckless to our own sensibilities. We are not to throw logic out the window when it comes to interpreting the word of God. Yes, God moved in ways that many times did not make the most sense. Many people would consider the act of his son coming to die on the cross, Jesus Christ, to be a upside down decision it didn't make sense but we're not the ones to decide the merit of god's expressed will god is capable of getting his point across and his word goes right into the deepest parts of our lives and it is enough if anyone tells you that the bible is no longer relevant or that the bible is only secondary to another authority 
that church, that person does not care for you. This leads to another aspect of the nature of God's communication. His word is timeless. The gems that we can glean from scripture now are the same treasures that generations in the past and generations in the future will also cherish. There is nothing new under the sun. I've said that in another video and it's fitting here too. New age philosophy is as popular as it's ever been, but it also does not speak truth for Christians. The Bible does not need to come second place to a pastor, to your favorite worship team, to any best-selling author that writes on Christian topics. No, the Bible is the first and foremost authority on the Christian life. And it's where God will speak to those who are ready to listen, those who are willing to listen. Thank you for your time today. Please subscribe and have a wonderful week.